everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was an exciting day, I would say. Well, mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. exciting. It ended up being a good day. Yesterday, I got a phone call from the realtor, and he asked, how are things going with the home? And I says, I says, oh, the other lawyer is holding things up again. Now he wants a copy of the school tax, a proof that I paid it. And I said, I don't have any receipts yet. They have to mail them back to you. And some thought it was because of this blue booger. No, we've always had to mail ours in because the school doesn't take them and then the bank doesn't take them. So the last five or six years, we've had to mail them in. And then you mark a box to say you want your receipt. So then you have to wait for the receipt. And it was mailed quite a while ago, but they take a long... They want your money quickly, but they don't want to send you the receipt quickly. Well, it was holding things up because they wanted to proof that I paid. And I said, all I have is the postal um, certified, certified receipt. receipt. That's all I have. But I pay three taxes in one when I'm paying them. So I said they can add up the amounts if they want and they and I can show them what I paid and um, they can decide whether I paid it or not. Well, apparently they must have decided that it was okay and they they ended up signing the papers. But before that they were then worried about their security deposit that I was paid which was $550 was paid to me from the tenant that I have which would come out of their cost, so they, they end up with the security deposit in the end. So that's what was holding it up, that other lawyer was holding up. I had signed my papers quite a while ago, and we were still waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, then the, lawyer, the realtor says, well, we've got good news for you. They closed yesterday. I said, they closed? I just talked to the lawyer yesterday, and they had no clue. Well, they got a thing in their... And slid into their door this morning that said that they had closed. So there was no forewarning that it was done. It was just done at the other lawyers and then my lawyer found out just about at the same time I did. So I went to the electric, had the electric turned off, well turned off, and the water transferred. They have to read the meter and they can't turn it off because there is a tenant in the house. And then I went to the insurance and canceled the fire insurance on that house because now I don't need to be carrying fire insurance insurance on it any longer. Then I went to the lawyers to see if I could pick up a check for the for the sale of the house and because they hadn't got the realtor hadn't gotten back to them, they didn't know what his amount was. So I still don't have the check and then I got a call later today that says I can go tomorrow to pick up the check so good thing Jim's gonna be home so I can go because I do have the kids tomorrow I also had a um, who, uh, who, who got rescued oh yes Lynn, <laughs> Lynn, Lynn, Lynn wanted to know what happened of St. Joseph St. Joseph is now out of the dirt he has been unburied, and I will put that little video in right here. Well, then, I have great news. St. Joseph can come out of the flower pot. I put him in the flower pot because I didn't want to go to the house and try to bury him next to the house, so I have him facing the house. And he sold, the house sold a long time ago, but they finally, finally, finally signed the papers. I'll take him out. You want to hold the camera, Mr. Jim? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was a little joke. There's St. Joe. Uh, half I, cough. Half cough. I put him in the. I put him in a bag, and he's upside down. Notice he's upside down. I put him in a baggie because I didn't want to get him dirty. Well, here I am. Bless you all for waiting for me to return. St. Joe. Okay, we'll go put them with Mary and the baby. Okay, St. Joe, you get to go back with your family. There's the blessed family. I leave it up all year. It is um, a nativity set, but it's part of a nativity set, but it can be up all year. And he's back with Mary and baby Jesus. 
It, I put him in a baggie, as you saw, because I didn't want him to get dirty. He would have gotten really dirty because I watered the plant that he was in. That was my fig tree that I keep in the house because figs don't ripen out here. I do have a fig tree outside, and it gets figs on it, but they never get ripe. This one doesn't have any figs yet, but it's also a very young plant, so maybe I don't know what it will do, but I keep it in the house. I was watching a live stream today with Highland Homestead with Gogo Mama, and she was wanting to know how Little Lady had made out. Well, last night she was pacing back and forth in front of the door when I, after the taping of my video. So I brought her in the house, but when it got dark, I took her out and I put her into the little enclosed house. There was a little bit of ruckus at first because there's always ruckus when I, when I go to the hen house. And then it quieted down and this morning she came down on her own and she was with the rest of the hens. So she did good, and then when it was time for chicken scratch, she came over to get the chicken scratch. And she kind of hang ba hangs back a little bit today, but she, she did come. And I'm going to see whether she's pacing back and forth to come in the house, or if she will just go up into the house herself, the little house, or if she'll want to come in the house. In the hen house. She goes up into the hen house, yeah. Otherwise, she'll be coming in the house, and when it gets dark, I'll be putting her back out there again. She did very good, so it's mm -hmm. time for her to go out. And Mr. Brown, <laughs> he's been out of his little cage a lot today. I didn't bring him outside, but he's been out of the cage a lot, and he's been pooping a lot on the floor. So I've been wiping up a lot of poops, and I tell everybody when they walk through that room, watch out for the landmines because there's a lot of them. He does some that are gushy and some that are solid. And I wish he would just hurry up and get potty trained or something. <laughs> I don't know if they get potty trained or not. I know they poop a lot normally, but I'm hoping that he learns to just poop in the morning, poop in the afternoon, and poop in the evening and stop this <laughs> in-between stuff. So that's that was my day. So the house... For those of you that were wondering what was happening with it, the apartment house. This is the apartment house, not where I live. I live in a house, my own house. The apartment house is now sold. So we are all done mowing that lawn. Yay. Little Jim is all done mowing that lawn. <laughs> yes. And that is my video for today. I talked all about my day, the chickens, and St. Joseph. Yes. Mm hmm He's free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.